When I first started photography, I wasn't really making any money. I started doing event photography, which is where I started to get paid to do photography. This sort of led on to me meeting new people in the photography scene and all that sort of stuff. And then a couple of years ago, I met my friend named Ariana and she does a lot of food photography. So she sort of taught me the ropes and pretty much how to do food photography. So this got me thinking, I want to do a video about food photography because it's something that I haven't done in a while. And I want to show you the behind the scenes of how I actually take photos of food and how you get that sort of nice crisp lighting and all that sort of stuff. So today, in about an hour actually, I'm gonna go meet up with Ariana and we're gonna go to this cafe and it looks pretty cool. Definitely a very Instagram worthy cafe. <laughs> just a side note, to anyone who takes photos of their food like all the time, can you please just stop? Just eat your food, don't wait for it to get cold, just don't take a photo of it, just, just eat it, okay? All right, now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> I'm about to meet up with Ariana and we're gonna go do some food photography. So let's cut to B-roll in three, two, one. All right, so we're here at the cafe and this is Ariana. She's, she's the one who actually got me into food photography like when I first started doing it. We're gonna choose something on the menu. I don't know exactly what we want. I think, you know what you want, don't you? I think so. Yeah, so Ariana's gonna get this dish. It looks pretty cool. Like, all the food here just looks insane. So, I'm gonna go choose like some fancy dish. So the shot that I wanna get, I wanna get like a, it's a top-down shot. So it's pretty much, we're gonna put the dish on the table and it's gonna be a complete vertical look-down shot. And we've got these huge windows over here, which is gonna create this nice sort of diffuse lighting, right? Cause like, we're here right now, we're at this spot, but it's kind of dark. So we're gonna go move closer to the windows because it's better lighting, right? Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go move over there, which... Maybe that bit, table. Yeah, maybe that table over there, we're thinking, because it's just, lighting is so key, it's so important when you're doing food photography. You need the best lighting. So if you're ever shooting like a cafe or any sort of food photography, try to get a spot closest to the window, and that's gonna get the best photos, and it's gonna allow you to get the crispest lighting. So the meals just came. I don't think I've ever been for breakfast anywhere and had a meal this photogenic, I guess. They're just insanely photogenic. I reckon they make these just so people can take photos and post them on Instagram. Yeah, mine, I'm healthy. Look how healthy I am. Mine's like this nice sort of healthy meal and Ariana's just got all this nice sauce and everything. So obviously there's two different types of dishes here. Mine's more of a flat dish and you can shoot it from, you should probably shoot this one from like top down, don't you think? Yeah, or just like a detail maybe as well. Yeah, or a detail, but Ariana's one is a bit different. Like, oh, because it's got layers, so I'll probably shoot it from an angle. Yeah. Like see, so it's like, it's got height to it. So if a meal's got height to it, you should sort of shoot it from the side because when you're shooting it from the top, you're not gonna show the height. So if you shoot it from the side, you can show what the dish actually looks like in real life. All right, enough talking. Let's just start shooting these meals. All right, what do you think? Did, did we get, just as I'm about to vlog, you start eating. What do you think? I think we got the shot, you reckon? I think so. Yeah, we got it. Now we gotta stop wasting time, stop letting the food get cold and just eat it. So if you can't already tell by now, I'm Italian and I love food because Italians just generally eat a lot of food and we love our food. So that's why I love food photography because you literally are getting paid to go out, take photos of food and then eat it. Like, I don't know, what, what more could you ask for? What more of a dream job could you want as a photographer? Anyways, back to the photos. So we wanted to get two main shots today because we had two different styles of dishes. Like my dish would be a dish where you would shoot it from above, which is what I was saying before. And the reason is that because it's more sort of spread out along the plate, whereas Ariana's dish was a heighted dish. It's like, for example, if you were to shoot a hamburger from the top, 
you just see a bun and it'd look really stupid and you wouldn't actually see any of the ingredients inside the hamburger. Whereas if you shot it from the side, you'd see all the ingredients like the meat, the cheese, the lettuce, all that sort of stuff. So with the first shot here, it's that side angle of the dish which really shows what's actually in the dish. Whereas if we shoot it from above, we can still see it and it's still an alright shot, but you can't actually see what's inside of it. Then with the second photo here of my dish, it was a pretty simple shot, just a straight look down. You just wanna stand over the meal and just directly shoot down and you get a pretty good shot as long as you're near a window. Always stand near a window if you're at a cafe trying to take good food photos. The worst lighting you can ever have is those stupid down lights. I hate them. Always stick to natural lighting if you can. Anyways, that is pretty much all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new, maybe about food photography. Maybe the next time you're out at a cafe, you might even just whip out your camera and try to do some food photography because it's really fun and you can make food look really good just by using that tip of going next to a window and setting up your dish there because you're gonna get that really nice natural lighting. And if you already haven't, go and check out Ariana's account. She posts sort of nature photos. So if you like that sort of stuff, remember to give her a follow. But that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like and subscribe because that's what I do here. I create videos showing you guys how to improve your photography and just general behind the scenes of photo shoots and all that sort of stuff. And as always, stay inspired, keep creating, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>